We have two new images that Bamboo Lab has dropped for us, so let's dig in. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. First off, let me say thank you to all of you that have been tuning in for these Bamboo Lab H2D drops. We are, I've grown, I'm over 3,300 viewers now, so that's amazing. That's just happened in the last couple of days. But anyway, we've got two new images, so let's take a look. Obviously, the first one here is already on the screen, and we have industrial grade accuracy, no longer a luxury. And what are we looking at here? So as we've done in the past, let's jump into Photoshop. We're gonna blow this up. So I did mention on one of the earlier videos before we got the spec leaked that maybe this was the LiDAR and it does look like we've got some sort of either LiDAR or a camera. And if you look down here now, again, I'm not an X1C owner. I do know that the X1 Carbon has the LiDAR and it does have a little QR codes on the build plates and it can read that and make sure that the build plate matches whatever the settings are. So either LiDAR or a camera that can read these QR codes here. Um, if we look at our leaked specs, down in the, the laser module section, you can see here Z-height measuring method is micro LiDAR. And then it also talks about this height measuring laser. So again, that might be only built into the laser modules and maybe this is a separate thing, but we also have a quite a number of cameras and you can see there's nozzle cameras, tool head camera, obviously this is on the tool head. So again, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but they are teasing us and so we'll just have to see what kind of capabilities exist with that. Now, moving along, this is the next image we have here. Of course, they give us this little picture and then you blow it up. Heating is not drying. So obviously this is referring to the AMS. Now, some people have made mention in my comments about maybe the servo motors were being in the AMS. I have not seen any leak specs yet on the AMS, so I don't know precisely. But let's again, let's take this into Photoshop. Let's blow this up a little bit and take a look and see what we're looking at here. Now, heating is not drying. So I've got a number of filament dryers. They all use little heating elements in there. Most of them have a fan that sucks cool air in. It hits heat up, heated up, and then it blows that out. And as part of that, it is, you know, drying the moisture, drying the moisture out of the filament, etc. I would have assumed that this is the exact way that this is gonna work, a heater element somewhere in the AMS. It heats it up, it has a fan. Now there are some, I've heard there are some filament dryers out there that basically just heated up things, but they didn't actually have a fan to circulate any kind of air and that doesn't really work well. So they could either be making a jab at those people that maybe didn't do the job fully, but this is kind of an interesting little gizmo here and it's pretty small as far as a vent is concerned. So it made me start to wonder, what if they're not using heat to dry the filament? Now, quite a while ago, I saw a video um, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Stefan over at uh, CNC Kitchen. And he did this video and I will put a link to this in the, in the uh, description, solid state dehumidifier. So there is technology that exists that basically, and he goes into it, I'm not gonna try and explain all of the science behind this, uh, but basically you have a solid state device, meaning there's no moving parts, but it's able to pull moisture from one environment into another. So he did a test on this and it seemed to work pretty well and if you get all the way through his video, he says, so, you know, so why do we not see this in more devices? And, you know, I apologize as I am scrolling here, looking for the exact section. It basically came down to the cost of the unit. The large module, this module that he was showing here was well over $100. So you can imagine that would add quite a bit of cost to a to a, an AMS unit. And then even he used a much smaller one here. As, let me mute and play this. There you go. That little unit right there was 36 euro. 
So what's that, 40, $45, something like that. So again, smaller cost, but maybe that's what we're seeing here in this. Maybe it is a solid state uh, device that removes the moisture. So again, we're not gonna know a whole lot. We've only got a couple days left. Today is the 23rd. We've got one more drop according to the website. It looks like tomorrow on the 24th, we should get one more image and then obviously on the 25th, everything should be made known as Bamboo decides. So there you have it. That's the last two pictures. I decided not to do uh, one a day because the last video was just doing so well. And the, the little LiDAR picture here don't really have a ton to go on on that. So what do you think? Do these last two pictures or not last, next to last couple of pictures, do they intrigue you in any way? What do you think about the AMS? I mean, me personally, I would love to have a filament dryer in the AMS. I don't know that I'd love it enough to spend the money to replace the current AMS I have, but because they are backwards compatible, if I were to do that, I would have two AMS units on my P1S. So that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But yeah, once again, what do you think? Please drop some comments there. Again, let me know what you think. Is this the greatest thing since sliced bread or is this going to be a major flop? Let me know. I appreciate every comment I get. I can't answer them all, but I do try to engage with you on a daily basis. As always, I would appreciate it if you would hit the little like button, hit the little notification bell, and hit the subscribe button so our channel can keep growing. And I am excited to keep learning, burning, printing, and growing together with you all. Take care, everyone.